Welcome to Oils and Shortening Basics. Shortenings in animal fat are both fats, so they are solid at room temperature, while oils are liquid at room temperature. And all highly refined oils are allergen-free. Oils and shortening come from essentially three different sources, vegetable, tropical, and animal. Vegetable oils fall under three categories of their own, commodity, mid-tier, and premium. Commodity oils, such as soybean oil, is the most widely used edible oil in the United States because of its neutral flavor, proven performance in a wide variety of applications, and transparent price. Canola oil is one of the healthiest commodity oils available. It has the lowest saturated fat among commodity oils, is light, clear, and mild in flavor, so it doesn't interfere with your finished product. Moving into mid-tier vegetable oils, cottonseed provides a clean, nutty flavor with high stability and increased fry life. Corn oil complements food with a sweet flavor and imparts a nice golden color to fried foods. And peanut oil has a bland, clean flavor that does not mask food taste. It is traditionally used for frying and is non-GMO sourced. And then there's the premium vegetable oils, such as sunflower oil, which has a light color, higher stability, is low in saturated fat and is non-GMO sourced. And high oleic canola oil, which has low saturated fat, high monosaturated fat, higher stability, a clean flavor that lets the flavor of the food come through and provides a longer fry life. The fry life of premium oils is roughly twice that of commodity oils. Then there are animal fats or non-vegetable shortenings. Tallow comes from cows and has a beefy flavor, is highly stable and is solid at room temperature. Lard is preferred for baking and is solid at room temperature. Lastly, we have the tropical oils like coconut, which has a nutty, sweet flavor and is good for confectionery, and palm, which is very stable and has a mild, nutty, or sweet pumpkin flavor, and both are non-GMO sourced. And there are some important terms when it comes to basic oil and shortening chemistry. Hydrogenation changes liquid oil to semi-solid or solid, increasing oxidative stability. Blending is the combination of various base stocks or shortenings and oils to achieve desired functional and nutritional characteristics. Fractionation is a separation process in which fats and oils are divided into separate parts, creating different melting points. Palm and palm kernel are examples of products that can be fractionated. And interesterification is a process that rearranges positions of fatty acids to create a solid. When it comes to processing oil, it starts with flaking and extracting the crude oil from the meal. The crude oil is then degummed refined, bleached, and deodorized before it is ready for use. For more information, visit cargill.com slash foodservice.